Hello all my magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a magical unboxing day. We have the Wizarding Trunk High Security Quarterly Special Edition box. I am super excited. This box looks gorgeous. It's got this real stone kind of look to it, but I'm very, very intrigued to see what is inside. So if you guys are too, then do carry on watching. Don't forget if you are new and you haven't done already to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video and you can always go and check me out on my social media. A big, big shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you are interested in joining us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Okay, so like I said, this is the Wizarding Trunk Special Edition box. I'm really, really excited. I believe this one is Hagrid related or like the grounds, the keeper in the grounds box. I think I can't remember exactly the wording now, but I do believe that's what this box is. And if it is, I am really, really excited. As always with the Wizarding Trunk, I'm really, really excited. And I'll give you guys the first sneak peek as well. Let me get this box open. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, we have things inside. What is this? Ooh, what is this? This looks intriguing. What is this? Okay. Oh, they're oven mitts. I need some. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Moment of a. There we go. Let's get these open and have a closer look at these. OMG. These look really cozy. They've got like little peppers on them, like the different color peppers. Look at these. I was literally thinking the other day, I was taking something out of the oven using a tea towel. Do not do that, people, okay? It is so dangerous. I did burn my hand. It's my own fault. I wasn't looking at what I was doing properly. But I said to myself then, I was like, I need oven gloves. Why don't I own oven gloves? I am in my 30s. I need some oven gloves. I don't need to go out and buy them anymore. I have them. These are so cute. They've got a little wizarding trunk tag on these things as well. So they're really, really sweet. The inside feels really cozy and really nice. You can feel the good quality. So I think these are really, really sweet. I can just see this box here, which says the keeper of your keys. So I'm really, really excited. And obviously now this is confirmed to me which box this is. Do I open this? It's really pretty, this box. It's kind of got this embossed gold foiling lettering on here, which is beautiful. Yeah, go on. Let's have a little look what's inside this. Oh, okay. We've got a big chunky key ring, which obviously would hold all the different keys. I can totally see Hagrid having this kind of thing. Oh my goodness, we've got all these different links now to add all the different keys on. So all the keys that we've been getting over the last couple of Wizarding Trunk boxes, we can add to this and pretend that we're the groundskeeper at Hogwarts. That's really cool. It's even got this little bit of like a belt buckle as well, so you can like clip that to your belt. This is really cool. I really like this item. Simple, but effective. I like that a lot. And I'm assuming these gloves would have been what he wore when he was getting Norbert out of the cauldron when obviously he was like trying to hatch Norbert. I'm assuming, I, I can't remember the design of those gloves. If they were like this kind of design, that is amazing and I'm living for it. Let's carry on with the box though. What is this? I'm seeing giant pumpkin seeds. We are wrapped in cellophane, which I am not a big fan of at the minute, only because I have nails on and getting anything done with longer nails is a nightmare. I've grown my nails out and I'm kind of regretting my actions, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so you've got this little tin container which says giant pumpkin seeds. And on the back it says pumpkin spice tea, black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, elderberry, cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger. So I'm assuming this is tea inside here. Let's have a little look what's inside. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is in fact tea. I'm not a big fan of like tea leaf type teas and like this kind of thing. It's not my, like, I'm not a big enough tea drinker to be able to be on board with this kind of thing. But I really do like the little presentation tin. I think it's really, really sweet. And even if you just wanted to have this as something that you display on your shelves, then that's a really nice little tin to do that. And obviously then you've got something inside there as well. So I definitely won't be using this as tea as per it's supposed to be used. But I'm very, very excited to just display this, even the tin part of it. And it smells. I mean, the smell is amazing. I'm not going to lie. That part of it. Oh, my God. Yeah, the smell of that is incredible. I'm just really like, gutted that I'm not a big tea drinker. Otherwise, this would be even better. But yeah, this is a really sweet item as well. I think we've got two pins, you guys. I'm seeing the backs of two pins. Okay, so the first one is this weirdly shaped one. I don't know if you can see it too much in the bag. Let's take it out a second. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bit of an oddly shaped one. But let's have a look. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. Oh, 
okay this is a groundskeeper assistant badge that's really cool look at that that's really sweet I like that I like the design of it we kind of got this like faded green and gray kind of colors going on it's very slithering but I'm not mad about that it's really sweet actually we've got a shovel and a wand we've got some stars and things going on and then we've got this uh, scroll design going on there as well that's really sweet I quite like that okay moving on to the second pin so this is a bigger pin I can feel it already I've got a feeling it might be a portrait style pin because we've been getting a lot of those lately and I am living for them so let's have a little look together yeah it had to be didn't it is the Hagrid one. Oh, this is so sweet oh my god it really looks like Robbie Coltrane as much as it doesn't look like Robbie Coltrane you know what I mean it's not like an exact likeness but you could definitely see there's a little bit of Robbie in there that is so beautiful oh I love the simplicity of this one as well the little frame is really sweet and the actual picture of Hagrid himself is really really lovely I'm gonna have to get like a specific um pin board for all the portrait pins that I have because some of them are just glorious and this one is no exception to that I absolutely adore that okay what's next we have ooh, ooh, I'm seeing unicorn something there was a potion bottle here and I can see oh it's unicorn hair okay let's get this out oh wow look at this this bottle is again super simple but we're not mad about it sometimes the more simple bottles speak as many volumes as the bigger like designer bottles are but this has a really lovely label in the front that says unicorn hair collected after a shed from an adult male unicorn pure blood apothecary so this is ethically sourced unicorn hair okay no unicorns were harmed in the bottling of this ingredient okay that is beautiful and then inside we've got this collection of hair there which is this lovely silvery gray hair i love that and then we've got a wax seal stamp on the top which is a unicorn this is beautiful i love it hey i'm seeing this box and this box and then we've got ooh, what does it say unlocking magic oh this is the new keys isn't it we have these little collection boxes now for these keys these are beautiful i'm loving the presentation of these keys at the moment look at that silver foiling it's just stunning so let's have a look if i move these two out of the way for just a moment let's have a look at the key for this box let's have a look Ooh. okay this is cool i like this so we've got a little charm on here with like a little keyhole missing and it's got the um hogs like the winged hogs that are on the gates of hogwarts i think that is so cute and then the actual key part itself has got another one of those hogs with wings and you can see it's sat on top of a pillar for hogwarts that is beautiful and then like the little bit of the key part looks a little bit like the castle as well this is really pretty. I love the colouring of this one. It's kind of like this faded brass colour. It's something that Hagrid definitely would have his hands on for sure. And that means now we can also add it to our key ring. Let's pop this on. Let's see if I can work this out. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that was actually really easy. Okay, so we're just going to pop that in there. And then we have our first key on Hagrid's keychain. I love it. That's so cool. Okay, let's have a little look at some of the paper stuff at the bottom before we go ahead with our last couple of boxes. So the last thing that's in there now is the cheat sheet, which we don't want to look at just yet. Uh, but now we have another Magical Creatures page. This is Magical Creatures A to Z. This is the Kelpie. And, ooh, the Kraken. I'm living that. That's brilliant. So the Kelpie is a shape-shifting spirit that is known to inhabit the lochs in Scotland. Kelpies may appear as tame horses beside the lake or a river, and they are particularly attracted to young children. I'm not sure I like that part of it, but okay. Uh, but yeah, they've got the shape-shifting horse sea creature kind of thing and then we have the kraken and it says the kraken is a legendary sea monster terrorizing the sea off the coast of norway greenland and iceland this beast is often described as a giant cellophod like creature resembling a giant squid or octopus with eight strong tentacles look at that that looks terrifying but yeah this is another page now to add to our magical creatures a to z book which i'm living for and i'll pop that in in just a moment pop that to one side for now though uh, next up, we have another copy of The Enchanter. Now, this one is the Misunderstood Hippogriff Rescue Center, Extract Giant Spider Venom, Poisonous Plants and Where to Find Them, Mountain Giants. And we've got a beautiful hippogriff on the front cover of here as well. Again, look at the gold foiling on these. These magazines are so beautiful, so intricate, like so much design goes into these. Every single page is filled with magical stories and different things like that. We've also got horoscopes normally in the back here. Yep, there we go, horoscopes there. We've got lucky runes, we've got stories. We've even got like crossword puzzles and things like that. This book is just absolutely full of different things. Oh, we've got a rock cake recipe page as well. How amazing is that? I love that. And we've got a thing here about how to bottle and extract giant spider venom. 
uh, I won't be doing that anytime soon, but it's nice to know that I've got a DIY thing of how to do it in case I need to. Uh, but yeah, and then we've got this here on the Hippogriff Rescue right here. Yeah, I love reading through these. I think these are absolutely beautiful. Great for photos. Great to have a little read through. I think these are beautiful. Ooh, and we also have a Rock Cakes recipe card to go into our Molly Weasley's Kitchen recipes that we had a few boxes back. I'm loving that. That's really cool. So we've got the directions on the back, all the ingredients on the front, how long it takes to cook, how long it takes to prep, how many it serves. I think these recipe cards are so cool. It gives you a little bit of magical stuff to have in your kitchen. And yeah, I love the fact that these are things that you can actually make at home and still feel a little bit magical and actually get to experience at home. I really like these. Oh, look at this. This looks so warm and inviting. Look at this artwork piece. Oh my goodness. So obviously we've got a scene here from inside of Hagrid's hut and you can see out the window there is Buckbeak in and amongst all the pumpkins. Oh, look at that fire. That looks so cozy and warm. Oh my God, we've even got the oven gloves on the chair here as well. That's really, really sweet. I <laughs> love that. This looks so cozy. I just want to like jump into this picture and sit by the fire and like call out to Buckbeak. And there's even like a dragon egg, I think, on the table as well. So yeah, I just want to dive into this picture and just like be a part of this. It just feels really lovely and magical and cozy. Okay, so last but not least is these two boxes here. I'm going to go for the mystery brown box first of all because I have no idea what's in this one. Okay, we have styrofoam. What else could this be? Ooh, I know. Ooh. Oh, I think we've got an egg. We do. We've got a dragon egg. Okay, let me get some of this polystyrene off because it's clinging to this. Okay, right. So here we have a very beautiful kind of pinky, coppery, brassy kind of dragon egg going on. This is really cool. It's a very, very simple design, but I don't think it needs to be anything too crazy. I think it's a lovely enough item to stand alone without any like fancy over the topness of it. The only thing I will say is I'm not sure how I'm going to display this because I don't know if it's going to stand. No, it doesn't really stand on its own. So I'm definitely gonna find a way of displaying this. It is a really, really beautiful item. And I think this is a lovely addition to any kind of shelves that you have that are magical. I think I'm just gonna need to find a way of actually displaying it. But yeah, it's a really beautiful color. I love the simplicity of its design. And I think this is a really beautiful egg. Okay, so this one says Stormwood's Magical Creature Rescue. And then it's got a griffin, I think, on here and maybe a unicorn. But let's have a little look at what's inside because that's the thing that we're all here to see. Let's have a nosy. Right, we got more styrofoam. This is beautiful. Look at this. We've got a Buckbeak. He's so cute. How do I get him out? <laughs> here we go. Right, Buckbeak. Here he comes. Oh, look at this. This is so sweet. Look at him. Oh, he's actually glorious. I can't even cope. Hi, Beaky. Oh my gosh, the grass is all detailed as well. There's so many bits of like details in the grass. It's got some different colours in there as well. Buckbeak himself is painted really, really beautifully. I love his eyes. His eyes look really, really sweet. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I love it. I've got a little bit of a, like a creature's um, shelf, a little bit further away from my actual, obviously my actual shelves are here and I have got a smaller shelf here, which is a mess. Please don't look at that, it's gross. But I need to organise that a bit more. But I've also got another section over there, which is all my magical creatures. So he's going to fit in beautifully on that shelf there. He's actually going to sit proudly next to the phoenix that we had, again, a few boxes ago now, but we had this really gorgeous phoenix. And I think Beaky's going to look absolutely glorious next to the phoenix. I'm loving this, this is beautiful. I just knew that this box would be absolutely stunning and it has not disappointed. But let's quickly go through the cheat sheet just to make sure that we got everything and get a little bit more information about some of the items here as well. So number one was the creature page. This creature page was ripped right out of Magical Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk. And then we had the Dragon Egg Handling Oven Mitt. Uh, so I was right, it is the gloves that he uses when he's obviously taking Norbert out of the pot and obviously getting Norbert to hatch. So it says these oven mitts are perfect for taking hot items out of your cauldron or the oven but you should probably get it out before it hatches. Yeah, don't leave it in there when it's hatching. That's not very nice. Uh, then we had the dragon egg. Grab your oven mitts. It looks like your dragon egg is starting to hatch. What shall we call this baby dragon? Oh, I don't know what I would call a baby dragon. I'm not going to lie. That would be a challenge. It kind of depends on what kind of dragon it was, because obviously Norbert was a Norwegian Ridgeback, but obviously then Norbert ended up being a girl, so Norbert doesn't really fit Norwina. Norwina? We'll go with Norwina. But yeah, I'd have to see what kind of dragon it was, whether it was a boy or a girl. I'm not sure. I'll have to think on that one. Number four was the portrait pin. This portrait will be perfect for your collection. It really is. 
Then we had the gate keys. This key topped with a winged boar. Oh, it's a boar, isn't it? Not a pig. Did I say boar? I can't remember what I called it now, but it's a boar. Uh, this will get you into the gates. The padlock for the gates has been shrunk to fit your pocket. Should you need to lock the gate, simply enlarge the padlock. Love that. Uh, then we have the Rock Cakes recipe card. The perfect Rock Cakes recipe to make for guests, written in-house and designed by Wizardry Workshop. I love that. Number seven then was the Hippogriff. This beautiful creature is very proud but easily offended. Take care when approaching this beast. Yes, you must respect the Hippogriff, okay? Uh, number eight was the Enchanter. It's that time again. This quarterly edition of the Enchanter focuses on the groundskeeping and forestry. Be sure to subscribe to your quarterly subscription to ensure you never miss an issue. Written by a talented team and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Then we had the Groundskeeper Assistant Pin. If you don't have your Groundskeeper shirt handy, wear this pin when helping out our favourite Groundskeeper. Definitely will be wearing that one. Uh, then we had the giant pumpkin seeds. This tin of giant pumpkin seeds would taste great if steamed in hot water for three to five minutes. These giant pumpkin seeds will taste like pumpkin spice tea. It's practically magic, designed by Wizardry Workshop and created for us by Half Blood Holistics. Ooh, I haven't heard of them before. I'll just go and check them out. They sound very, very cool. Like I said, it's not something that I'm a big tea drinker fan of. So it won't be something that I will actually be tasting myself personally. But I'm living for the tin design. I think the tin's really beautiful. The tea itself smells incredible. But sadly, it probably won't be something that I end up drinking, which is a big shame. But never mind. Uh, number 11 was the key holder. This key holder is perfect for any half giant with a few dozen keys to lug around. We have included several extra key loops for any of your past keys that may not have included them. Always handy. Thank you very much for that. That's really, really good. Number 12 was the unicorn hair. Unicorn hair has many uses. It is used in potion making as wand cores and by the gamekeeper to bind bandages. This unicorn hair was collected after it was shed by an adult male unicorn. Label designed by Here Be Monsters, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. And last but not least, number 13, the ground keeper's cabin. A look into the ground keeper's cabin. So obviously that was the artwork that we had there as well. This is so beautiful. I just want to dive straight into that. I really do. So yeah, that was everything in the groundskeeper. Let me see what it's actually called. So the Keeper of the Keys and Magical Beasts. That's what this box was called officially. And the next quarterly theme is Favourite Witches and Wizards. So I'm very much looking forward to that as well. Wow, what can I say about this box? I was expecting it to be good. Like I said, the Wizarding Trunk always nails these boxes. They're always making me feel lots of magical happiness. And they did not disappoint with this box. I think the Buckbeak figurine is absolutely glorious. I'm living for the unicorn hair potion bottle. I think that's stunning. I really, really like the Hagrid portrait pin as well. I think that's a really lovely touch. The keys is just genius. Like, that's actually perfect for this box. I can't even, like, deal with it. Such a good idea to have those in here as well. The oven mitts are really cool, super handy as well. Like I said, I am desperate for oven mitts, so that is a really, really helpful thing. Yeah, I think my overall feelings from this box are definitely positive, definitely lots of magical feels. And it's an amazing, amazing nod to, of course, Robbie Coltrane, who fairly recently passed away. And obviously our favourite groundskeeper, which of course is Hagrid. I think this is a really beautifully created box just for him. But of course, guys, I always like to hear your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. So if you like this box, then please leave me a comment. Let me know what your favourite thing was, what maybe your least favourite thing was, how much you enjoyed this box. Thank you so, so much again for watching. As always, you guys, it always fills my heart with magical joy. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a magical thumbs up for me so that you know. And don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. And turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys.